Hi, welcome to the Resources Roadhouse. I'm Wally Graham. I'm in Singapore at the Future Facing Commodities Conference where I had a chat with Ed Ainscott, who's Managing Director of Lunon Metals. Ed, welcome to the Resources Roadhouse. It's great to see you. Thanks, Wally. All right, so just before we uh, came on air, I was getting a, a history lesson on Lunon Metals. Um, your Baker deposit discovery um, pretty much uh, set the company alight after not being listed for very long. That's right, Wally. We listed in June 21. Uh, when we listed, our pitch was very much that Cambalda uh, is one of Australia's most prolific nickel belts and that the tenements that we were acquiring uh, were underexplored. Uh, obviously, when you go into an IPO and you say that, you, you're really pleased when you make a discovery. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, we've grown our mineral resource by over 125% since we listed. Uh, we've added just under 49,000 nickel tonnes and it's all been a very good grade, around 3%. Uh, and again, Cambal is famous for producing high-grade nickel sulphides. I think the, uh, the districts produce 1.6 million tonnes of nickel metal and the average grade of that is 3.1. So uh, our resource sits at 3.1 currently, so very much you know, classic Cambal high-grade, uh, high-value sulphides. But Baker put a light under our share price, no doubt, when we found it. Yeah, well, it's, you know, if you want to go and find anything, you go looking for it where people have found it before. Well, look, that old adage about uh, elephant country is very true. Uh, after we found Baker, uh, our major shareholder, Goldfields, uh, got great faith in us. We, we did another deal with them. Uh, so we acquired Silver Lake and Fisher, which were the last two historical nickel mines that had never been transacted before. So, uh, and Silver Lake and Fisher are in elephant country, right in the heart of Cambalda. Uh, the big three historical mines, uh, Otter Juan, 300,000 nickel tonnes, Longshaft, 200,000, and then the next one was Silver Lake, 123. Yeah. So you're very right. If you want to find big ore bodies, you look where there were big ore bodies before. So that sort of begs my next question, because um, I was wondering with the Baker deposit, does that mean you're going to do some regional um, exploration around that? Or, um, OK, we're, we're at Baker now, we will try and increase it but at the same time, the, these new projects we picked up, we'll have a look at those as well. Look, the, the, the successor came out of the WMC uh, with Nickel, but also Goldfields, who bought the asset from WMC with their gold business. Uh, Cambada is always about being able to put things in production, but keep exploring. So it's not one or the other, you really need to keep doing both. And, and then the district really looks after you, uh, yeah. the ability to add incremental discoveries and extensions. So we, we've drilled Baker pretty aggressively, 20 kilometres of drilling. Uh, it's very shallow, it's in the top 200 metres, our indicated resource. Uh, so we've hit it pretty hard uh, and we've done that to quantify the risk. Uh, as you know, when you start a mining project, things don't always go <laughs> as you want them to. Uh, but what we've done is we've quantified the risk uh, and it's quite low risk. And we're very close to an open pit there too. So we've made a decision at Baker to actually kind of pause the drilling there. We think we've got enough to do the PFS, yep. to get an initial ore reserve and to get a value proposition uh, on the offtake. Uh, but we will continue to explore around it because there's plenty of opportunities uh, in and around Baker, both uh, on, on that belt, but at the new assets at Silver Lake and Fisher. All right, so that's sort of where the next lot of news is going to come from. Yeah, Silver Lake and Fisher really backfill the portfolio. They give us that exploration news flow. Uh, since we listed, we've drilled 49 kilometres of drilling. So our news flow has been pretty excellent. And obviously, when you make a discovery, uh, it really enables you to yeah. kind of ramp up that news flow. Uh, Baker's become uh, more advanced. Foster sits behind it. There's uh, 57,000 nickel tons of Foster, makes out our mineral resource. So having Silver Lake and Fisher just gives us that little bit of news flow, that extra spice. Obviously, it's in elephant country, so we hope to make another discovery as yeah. well. Oh, well, when you make that other discovery or you've got other news to tell, give me a call so we can get it out. Perfect. Good on you, Wally.